Hey guys, so today I have another set of 10 empties to show you. Um, it's, I don't really think that this set is particularly exciting. I do have some repeats in here because some things I just use up so quickly. But anyway, let's get started. So the first thing that I have is the Estee Lauder. This is a sparkling clean mattifying oil control lotion. This is a little toner. Um, it was kind of a pain to get through. I originally purchased this because I was in love with the Lancome Pure Focus toners and I thought this was this would be very similar. It was in a way but it felt more heavier on the face so when it dried it was just kind of irritating for me to be honest because I felt like something was still on my face. I just I'm really sensitive to that. So it took forever to finish but I finally used it up and I will not be repurchasing that. Uh, the second thing that I finished was this is the Gilchrist and Soames Spa Therapy Stimulating C Rack Body Wash. So this one was quite alright. I got it from a birch box, I think. It smells good. Kind of like a standard ocean smell. Um, I would repurchase the full size, except I have a thousand body washes to get through. So you know how that is. Um, but yeah, I finished that one. And the next thing that I finished is a Lositon. Which, is, which one is this one? This is the Mango Flower Hand Cream, and I really like these. They're one, uh, some of my favorite hand creams, and this one smells really good as well. Mm. It smells kind of like oranges more than mango, though, so maybe that's just me. But this is made with 20% uh, shea butter, and yeah, I prefer actually these more in the wintertime, the shea butter formulas, and I prefer, prefer like the lighter hand lotions during the summer, so I repurchase those all the time. Uh, this is a Baronessa Kali uh, Taroko, I think this is like lotion, moisturizing, mo uh, nourishing moisturizer with Sicilian red orange extracts. This one does definitely smell like orange. And I'm not even sure where I got this from. My friend gave it to me. So it's just like a little sample size. And it's, it's for body, not it says moisturizer, but it's for body. Uh, the next thing that I used is a Jerlique Herbal Recovery Advanced Serum, a Youth def def oh, Defense Gel Concentrate. I don't know why I could not read that. Um, so this one, I thought it was okay. I didn't really see much of a difference in my skin after using it. This little thing lasted me like a month anyway. So I don't think that I would buy the full size, but it was still pretty cool to try out. Uh, the next thing is the Thomas, uh, oh, Peter Thomas Roth. This is the Rose Stem Cell Bio Repair Gel Mask. I actually really, really like this stuff. It's actually like a very, I don't even know if you could see it, but like a very clear light pink gel. And I really liked it. I did get the full size of this one. Um, I got it off Birchbox using my points. They do have like this uh, this one in one of the sets on Sephora. It, came, it comes with a like a set of three little masks the size with the rose one there's a cucumber one and then like a pumpkin enzyme mask so they're pretty interesting this one was by far my favorite um, I you know I use it maybe once or twice weekly when I get the chance and I really liked it so I definitely would repurchase that uh, the next thing that I use is a Clarins bright plus HP C Lily en enriched uh, daily hydrating lotion this is brightening hydrating day lotion I can't read today I'm sorry guys uh, this is SPF 20 and it's oil free I did like this however during the summertime I'm not really even wearing moisturizer during the day so I mostly used it on my neck and the reason for that is it's just so hot like everything just melts off I feel like instantly so I just don't even bother putting it on sad life of a California girl uh, the next thing is something that I use up all the time. This is a L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder in uh, W2 Light Ivory. So it's just a standard powder. I don't like these that much right now I'm because it is hot. And again, like my mel makeup just melts off. Like I can just put it on and it'll just be gone like in two seconds. So I did not really care for this. Um, lately, I've been using a Laura Geller one that I really like. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, the next thing is the Victoria's Secret Secret Charm Smoothing Body Scrub. I love this stuff. I, I initially didn't like it because I like the body scrubs in tubs. 
but lately I have been using this uh, these in general like not just particularly the scent and I do like them I think they're affordable as well because you get like five for thirty dollars and usually body scrubs on their own high end are like twenty dollars each and that did last me a while as well and then the last thing for this uh, empty set is the uh, La Vanilla the Healthy Deodorant in Vanilla Lavender. This is like my go-to deodorant and it took me forever to use up. But the one thing that I hate about it is like at the end like this just pops off. So the, this is like the actual deodorant thing. It just came off one day and I feel like that's like that's a good amount of deodorant and I mean it's not like I could just like rub it on my arms in that particular Sigh. So that sucks, but I replaced it with a new one. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.